In addition to all the regular tools available here in ARCHICAD, there are quite a few hidden tools that are little plugins that work through the add-on manager. So to find those, we have to go to Options, Add-on Manager, and then the list of all the add-ons that are actually engaged at the moment are all shown there. However, if we need some more, we can go to... I'm going to have to move this up. We're going to have to search for more add-ons. Now at the moment, if I go to the search for more add-ons, in version 9 there used to be a folder called the goodies folder, which is not there anymore. We have to go through a different process to find those goodies, download them, and then once they're downloaded, they're there all the time. So we're just going to do that now. But what I might do here is first create a new folder called goodies. This is the folder that we're going to put all these little extras in. So I'm just going to go OK. And I'm just going to close that and close that. To find the goodies, I have to go to the help menu. And it'll be slightly different depending on which version of ARCHICAD you have. But here in Australia, we go to the ARCHICAD 10 Aussie goodies. And I left mouse click on that. And that should launch your browser. And it will have a list of all the goodies that are available there. We also have different manufacturers that supply their products and we can load them automatically straight into ARCHICAD. But this is the one I'm going to concentrate on now. You know, left mouse click on downloads and we're redirected again. Once it's opened up, you have a list of all the different goodies there. And what I'm going to do now is just get a couple that I think are very useful. And that would be, I'm on PC at the moment, so the profiler download that, the poly count, the mesh to roof, and the grid tool, construction, interior wizard, construction simulation is also good, align element, and check duplicates is also really good, and if you're doing any work with 3D Studio Max, the 3D Studio In is also a very good file to get, so I'm just going to download all those. Once I've downloaded all those, I'm just going to unzip them all into that goodies folder that we created before. Once we've unzipped them all, we go back to the Options, Add-on Manager. Then when we click for Search for More Add-ons, it automatically opens up to the Add-ons folder. We go up one level and to the Goodies folder. In the Goodies folder, we have all those things that we downloaded just before. So I'm just going to load, perhaps, the Align Elements. So I drill down until I find the APX file. Click on that. And I might just load... Mesh the roof tool also. We just press OK. And now, once loaded, the goodies appear in numerous positions. Over here we can see align elements. Under, under design extras, we can see the profiler and create roofs from mesh. Under the options, we have the check duplicates. And they're the four that I loaded. I can also make my own drop-down menu. Over here we've got goodies and I've loaded the check duplicates, line elements and profiler there. And we can do this through the work environment and menus. And to create a new menu, I just left mouse click on menu bar options, click new menu, type in goodies because that's what I want the menu to be called. Push OK and there's nothing there at the moment. So I find all add-ons on the left hand side here and drag them over where we have this anchor if I was to add a goodie into this folder it would appear in this position here left mouse click on align elements just drag it over there and let it go the profiler create roofs to mesh check duplicates once we've loaded all our goodies we just push OK and then the goodies toolbar ends up appearing here and there are all the goodies or add-ons that I put into that toolbar now there's one add-on that we've put into the goodies folder but should actually not be there that's the grid tool so if I left mouse click on that and just move that up to the add-ons folder 
because it only works properly when it's running from the add-ons folder so once it's there we have to restart Archicad and then the add-on appears in the design section of the toolbox so if we want to use that grid element double click on that and the palette opens up and we can start using it next we're going to show a couple of short movies on each of these APIs because they're quite valuable